module 14 relationship between confidence intervals and statistical significance section 1 relationship between ci and p values confidence intervals and p values are quite similar concepts a 95 percentage confidence interval correspond to the p value with alpha is equal to 0.05 and do you know why this connection i have already explained to you that because these p values are expressed in percentile uh, uh, probabilities and 0.05 probability means that it is basically 5 percentage so 5 percentage is the end of the tail of the histogram you know or the bell uh, diagram so basically 100 minus 95 percentile is percentage is equal to 5 so that is why 5 percentage of the significance level the tail part of the bell diagram so to check whether the two group means are significantly different or not easiest approach is to plot the ci 95 percent is ci of this two group means and to see whether they are overlapping or not so you know if they do not overlap then you can instantly conclude that the, the difference is the p value is less than 0.05 and the, the differences are statistically significant and if it if it overlaps then what could be the valid conclusion no of course you cannot make any inference out of it so the logic works in a similar way as well the concept of the confidence interval is easier to understand you know it's more intuitive it computes the range that the 95 percentage of the time will contain the true population mean or other estimates so that is what this 95 percent ci means hypothesis testing computes a range that you can be 95 percentage sure to contain experimental results if the null hypothesis is true so any results within this range that is p value higher than 0.05 is considered not statistically significant while the result outside this range that is inside the histogram you see that is p value is less than 0.05 is statistically significant so that is what uh, the meaning of uh, uh, the p value actually is so if it resides on the end section then only it is basically uh, you know it is basically a significant result that you are going to get it so confidence intervals and the p value is uh, the the you know the, the, these terms are really really closely related if a 95 percentage confidence interval does not include the null hypothesis then the p value must be less than 0.05 if 95 percent ci does include the null hypothesis then the p value has to be more than 0.05 so had it been that is at 95 percentage confidence level so you can do the same thing for 99 percent confidence a uh, level then for 99 percent ci is equivalent to p value less than 0.01 while 90 percent ci is equivalent to a, a p value less than 0.1 so you can see in this graph there are actually two uh, you know the ranges are plotted so let us concentrate only on the bottom panel not the top panel so the bottom panel is a subset of the sample of individuals whose blood Uh, whose body temperature were measured and you can see that the mean plus or minus confidence interval 95 percentage confidence interval so which is you can say which is far less than 37 you know the normal temperature so the body temperature is little bit cooler now the thing is that the question is it significant result or not to analyze it all you have to look at is that where is the null hypothesis fits into this confidence interval what is our null hypothesis null hypothesis is that body temperature is equal to 37 degrees right so 37 degree is the uh, you know the dashed line you can see it in uh, this uh, uh, the diagram so you can see that the range of 95 percentage confidence interval of the sample mean do include the null hypothesis of 37 degree celsius so because the null hypothesis is included inside the 95 percent ci that means that the p value must be greater than 0.05 and the results are not significant let us go to the next uh, uh, you know the diagram the graph uh, in this graph you can see clearly that the confidence interval are narrower than the earlier graph and this narrow confidence interval do not include the null hypothesis of 37 degrees celsius 
as I told you just concentrate only on the bottom panel not on the top panel so bottom panel do not include that null hypothesis that the top panel is drawn at the the null hypothesis at the center with the 95 percentage of confidence interval that is the difference here so just check the bottom panel and you can see clearly that the null hypothesis is not part of that so the p-value has to be lesser than 0 0.05 and you can conclude that the results are significant so confidence interval versus the p-values if the ci for the ratio of two proportions does not include one which is a null hypothesis then the result must be statistically significant if you are comparing a set of percentages against a hypothetical value of 100 and 95 percent ci of the mean of the percentages does not include the null hypothesis in this case null hypothesis is 100 then the discrepancy must be statistically significant so this is a handy table that you can see that the overlap i have already explained this table to you but uh, just a recap of what it what is happening if two standard deviation uh, you know error bars drawn on mean you know mean plus or minus standard deviation if the sd overlaps there is no valid conclusions that you can you can make it you know if they overlap or if they do not overlap nothing can be because standard deviation plots a scatter or variability not about the precision of a measurement so had it been standard error of the mean so standard error of the mean if they overlap that means that p-value is greater than 0 0.05 and they are not really statistically significant and if the SCM error bar do not overlap no conclusion similarly if the in the case of 95 percent CI if they do not overlap yes you can make a conclusion that the p-value is less than 0 0.05 while if the 95 percent ci do overlap again no valid conclusion you can do that if you want to calculate the exact p-value for example to see whether the significance is only a borderline case or highly significant the only option is to go with a p-value calculation via standard test for example a t test or ANOVA or f test all this you can use it or chi square test that we are going to explain in later modules so if 95 percent ci just touch the null hypothesis for example in our earlier diagram that 95 percent ci is touching directly at 37 degrees null hypothesis what would be your conclusion so here it is equal to 0.05 you know the p-value has to be equal to 0 0.05 and the, the, the conclusion is non-significant. If 99% CI include the null hypothesis but the p-value is reported to be lesser than 0 0.05, is it possible? Yes. If 99% CI include the null hypothesis, that means that the p-value has to be greater than 0.01 but they report it as p-value is lesser than 0 0.05 so the real p-value must be somewhere between 0 0.01 and 0 0.05 for example 0 0.03 or 0 0.04 so the conclusion is valid the 99 percentage ci includes a null hypothesis but the report says the p-value is lesser than 0 0.01 is it possible it's not possible there is a conflict if 99 percentage ci does include the null hypothesis that means that the p-value is greater than 0.01 it can never be lesser than 0.01 in another example the 90 percentage ci does not include the null hypothesis but the report says the p-value is lesser than 0.05 is it possible perfectly possible because if 90 percent ci does not include the null hypothesis the p-value must be lesser than 0.1 so the reported p-value is lesser than 0 0.05 it's consistent with the earlier statement so in summary the confidence intervals and p-values are quite similar concepts and 95 percent ci correspond to the p-value with alpha is equal to 0 0.05 because 100 minus 5 you know is equal to 95 and this is expressed in probability that is what the you know 5 expressed in probability become 0 0.05 to check whether two group means are significantly different or not the easiest approach is just to plot mean plus or minus 95 percent ci to see whether the ranges overlaps or not 
if 95% confidence interval does not include the null hypothesis, then the p-value must be less than 0 0.05. If 95% does contain the null hypothesis, then the p-value must be greater than 0 0.05. If 95% CI range just touch the null hypothesis then the p-value must be equal to 0 0.05. Result is not statistically significant. Thank you for watching.